Mm, where was the... Path up the side of the place. That's where it came from. There's an item there. Oh, there's another one of them. Oh, shit. <laughs> ah! There's a wall there. <laughs> I'd rather get you on a somewhere a bit um, more open. So I can see what I'm doing more than anything else. Wary of parrying. Does that mean someone can parry me? <laughs> or that just parrying doesn't work? What if the crows are going to be here? Chaos Blade. Hmm. Looks like you probably can't get in there if that doesn't open at all. Ah, uh, from Dark Souls 1, I think the Chaos Blade hurt you. A cursed sword of unknown origin bearing uncanny streaks on its blade. Attacks also damage its wielder. Yeah. The sword is not unlike a thing misshapen granted life, but never welcome in this world. In other words, chaos itself has the same skill as the other katanary weapons. I never really had much truck with weapons that damage you as well as the enemy. Just my own personal play style. I can't remember. I think it was a moderately popular weapon in its day amongst the community, but I never really worried about it myself. And there's another Black Knight there. Let's give this another try, shall we? Especially since you are right on the edge of a cliff. I might just uh, back up just a smidge. <laughs> just to be a little bit safer. Oh! Ooh -hoo -hoo. Ow! Ow. If I'd known all these guys were going to hear, I probably would have full on Black Knight armoured up, just, you know, for the amusement value more than anything else. No one else wants to drop nothing. This better not say gorgeous view. <laughs> Hornet ring. Nice. Can't remember. Was that the... Yeah. The critical attacks ring associated with the Lord's Blade. Ciaran, Kieran, one of the four knights of Gwyn, the first lord. Boost critical attacks. The Masked Kieran was the only woman to serve in Gwyn's Four Knights, and her curved sword granted a swift death to any and all enemies of the throne. She had two curved swords, as I recall. One caused bleed, and one caused toxin. Or poison. One of the gold and silver traces, as I recall. Oh, and the freeze again. Giants. This is a very dark area right now. I might have to get my torch out. <laughs> well, he's certainly trying to jump up there. Someone's made it. I wonder if the crows are even there. 
it looks like you might be able to sort of get up that tree and just get just enough lift. I'm uh, not going to worry too much at the moment. If you can get there, I'm sure all will be revealed in the fullness of time. But for now, I'm just here to explore. Probably should use all these souls. before I lose them. Hmm. There ain't no bonfire, but there is a coiled sword fragment. What does a coiled sword fragment do? It's not a key. Oh, it's a homeward bone. Oh, it's a, an aged feather. Unlimited use. Fragment of the coiled sword of a bonfire which served its purpose long ago. Returns caster to last bonfire used for resting or to the fire bonfire in Firelink Shrine. Can be used repeatedly. Bonfires are linked to one another irreversibly, retaining their affinity long after their purpose is exhausted. So it's the aged feather from Dark Souls 2, which was uh, kind of useful, actually. <laughs> like a, an infinite homeward bone. Really? Well, fancy that. A lost lamb wandereth in with nary a peep from the bell. Well, thou shouldst my purpose know. What can this old handmaid provide thee? Huh. Wolf, Knight, Helm, this is the Artorius set. <laughs> Helm of a knight tainted by the dark of the abyss, the twilight blue tassel is damp and will remain will ever remain so. A vanquished knight left behind only wolf's blood and his legacy of duty. The undead legion of Farron was formed to bear his torch, and the armour of these abyss watchers suggests their own eventual end. Huh. Interesting. All right, a ring engraved with the portrait of the high, high Priestess increases faith. In Lothric, the High Priestess has long been considered one of the three pillars of the King's rule. The High Priestess, priestess also served as the Prince's wet nurse. Best not tarry long. <laughs> I thought I'd heard somewhere about Prince Lothric's well, wet nurse before. Well, exceeding lost indeed. What can this old... To skirt the curse's grasp, tarry not for long. Tis dark for now, and not a soul stirs. But remember, fires are known to fade in quiet. Or perhaps thou'rt captive already, like the poor girl. <laughs> Which poor girl? To skirt tat is all like <laughs> best not tat. <laughs> you blind rags around your eyes or something? Hmm. A blacksmith hammer. As I recall, it was fairly crappy in Dark Souls 1. Metal hammer passed down amongst blacksmiths of the shrine. Serves as a strike weapon, but also excels at reducing poise and breaking the guard of a shield. Of course, a hammer's true potential is realised in the hands of a blacksmith. Alright, well what else is around here? Anything where people would normally be sitting. It did kind of look like a fake wall actually, and it um, is a bit shorter than it should be. Eyes of a firekeeper. 
Oh dear. I don't suppose I can point the binoculars down that far, can I? Hang on, I've got to get a bit closer. Uh, that kind of reminds me of Maiden in Black. But I, it may just be a texture thing that they've sort of slapped texture over the top of the eyes. And it's meant to be sort of coagulated eye juice or blood or something. Maybe. It's um, always really difficult to tell what's deliberate and what's not. What's just sort of bodgy graphics. Doesn't appear to be anything here. Well, what about all these thrones? Yom the Giant. Watches of the Abyss. Holy King Lothric. Ludlith. And the other one. And Aldrich. Um, there's no one on any of them. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, well, I think that's everything that's around here. It's, uh, not really sort of, um, explaining very much, but okay. Welcome home, speak. Okay. Oh, yes, Welcome I didn't actually read the description of those, did I? Reveals horrors to the sightless firekeeper. A pair of dark eyes, said to be the eyes of the first firekeeper, and the light that was lost by all firekeepers to come. It reveals to the sightless firekeepers things that they should never see. Welcome home, speak. Ashen one, are these... Grapes. Are these eyes? Peeled grapes. How gracious of thee, Ashen one. The very things we firekeepers have been missing. Ashen one, my thanks for the eyes thou's given. But firekeepers are not meant to have eyes. It is forbidden. These will reveal through a sliver of light frightful images of betrayal. A world without fire. Ashen One, is this truly thy wish? Uh, is this unlocking an ending of some sort? And um, if I do decline, do I get the chance to do it again? Find out. Of course not. Please, kill me, and take these eyes away, before I am drawn into the darkness, seduced by the thin light and the awful betrayal. Ashen one, before I seduce. Okay. So no, I don't get the. Very well. Then to take the me. choice to say yes, I want a world without flame. One. Although, thou thy peace discover. Um, having given her the eyes, <laughs> probably should have. Just to see what. Anyway, you oft the lords of Cinder, the undead legion. So that's how they're delivered to their thrones. <laughs> I pity the sorry souls. Is that really? Lordship's last reward. <laughs> ah, I failed to thank you for helping them find their final resting place. A barren ring. 
<laughs> I pity the sorry. <laughs> I... Okay, is he part of the Undead Legion or something, is he? Where's a... Here we go. Reduces skill at focus point consumption. The Abyss Watchers, for their hunting, required a sword technique that went beyond went beyond any existing art. Wolf's blood provided just that, and this ring further extends the effect. Mm-hmm. Oh, how Hmm. Ashen one bring with is it not? <laughs> hmm. Confusing. It's like, was that the same Firelink Shrine? Is she the same Firekeeper? Uh, Shrine Handmaid? Dancer's stuff? I can't remember if I already read this. Uh, the Mirage-like Aurora Veil is said to be an article of the Old Gods permitted only for direct descendants of the Old Royal Family. Is that one? Yeah, that's in there. The Black Eyes of the Pontif... Pontifa? <laughs> Eventually transformed the dancer into a beastly creature, her armor fusing with her own hide. Smoo stuff. Black iron. Executioner. Exile. Here we go, Gundies. See, she does sell boss armor. Ancient helm of a set of cast iron armor belonging to Champion Gundir, modeled after a former king. Gundir, or the belated champion, was bested by an unknown warrior. <laughs> who he then became sheathed to a coiled sword in the hopes that some ha someday the first flame would be linked once more. Confusion upon confusion, because we got the the coiled sword from the tutorial boss, who was also a Gundir. A Udex Gundir. I don't know if I've seen this either. Hat of the Dark Witch Carla. A pointed hat is the signature of a heretical sorceress. Carla, however, always kept it close. This stained coat is torn and odorous, telling of a long journey and even longer imprisonment. It would be madness to wear such a thing. This actually looks like Uria's set from uh, Demon Souls. Don't know if that's deliberate. Hmm. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know what's going on. This is just obviously heaps more shit that I'm going to have to look up after I've finished playing this game. In the meantime, 